Yoro could leave you walk. Take a look. Take a look. I hope that you will do business with us again. I can take you where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Careful. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked white one. So you're bringing me to the yeah? eh? Oh, nicely so done. Here's your share. Hey, I handle the fishing. If breaking to all your feet, go talk to Vex. Everyone knows about you and Red Yard. All right. Anything in particular strike your fancy? Sometimes we just look simple, steal from anywhere in the hut. Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut, and you'll do fine. Let me give you the details. It's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. It's another to actually use them. Oh, back back. With good news. Amazing what people leave laying around for us to take, isn't it? I handle the burglar. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up close and got plenty. Take your pick. One of the quickest ways. If you're in, what do you say? Here, just don't make me look like an ass in front of the guild and mess it up. All eyes are on you. Well, it appears your actions are starting to make waves out there. People are talking about the guild again. In fact, I just got a special job request in. I haven't gotten anything like that in years. We actually got a request from one of the most powerful families in Whiterun. The Battle Balls. Make your way up there and look for Alfred. He says he's got a matter that requires a delicate touch. But I suggested you for the job. Don't make me the fool and let me down, all right? 
No killing or no pun. Remember that. Want to talk? Go in. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothka. Need a ride? A Where do you want to go? <sighs> Climb and back, and we'll be off.
thralls of yours are slower than Argonian a blizzard. Feel free to grab a peek and help them out. I'm sully myself with manual labor. There goes another one. Bah, weak willed rabble. Even dead in his pieces.
Fighting dragons, and what do I get? Guard. I can take you to. Where do you want to go? <laughs> Climb and back, and we'll be off. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Mm hmm. Send someone over. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some mead. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to something. Talk. Follow me. What do you want? Now we can talk. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. Surprised? I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeard sent, and not some Thalmor plant. We remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate Dragon Slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Good, and you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, 
and I need you to help me stop it. <laughs> a few years ago, I said almost the same thing to a colleague of mine. Well, it turned out he was right and I was wrong. I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. You should know. You got the map for me. The dragon stone you got for Faringar, remember? So you were paying attention. I arranged to have Faringar recover the dragon stone for me. It's what I do. I make things happen from behind the scenes. After all, here you are. Yes, a map of ancient dragon burial sites. I've looked at which ones are now empty. The pattern is pretty clear. It seems to be spreading from the southeast, starting in the Geralds near Riften. The one near Kynesgrove is next, if the pattern holds. Kynesgrove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynesgrove. Orgnar, I'm traveling. You've got the inn till I get back. Right. Happy trails. Need something? Kynes Grove is this way. We can travel together and split up. Everything all right? I can take you to... Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. much to look at. The innkeeper ought to be able to tell us if something's wrong. No, you don't want to go up there. A dragon, it's attacking. Well, I don't know. Not yet. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Salukunir, zil kuro tova ulsa. Slen. A 
Nothing held back. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Really? Where? Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone, though. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard, as we are sworn to do. But we never found one, until now. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Nothing solid yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Do you need something?
If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Oh. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Retrieve the horn of Jorgen Runkoll. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. If you can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you... of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Sky above, voice within. We spoke the traditional words of greeting to a dragonborn who has accepted our guidance. The same words were used to greet the young Talos when he came to High Hrothgar before he became the Emperor Tiber Septim. Ah, I sometimes forget you are not versed in the dragon tongue as we are. 
This is a rough translation. Long has the storm crown languished, with no worthy brow to sit upon. By our breath, we bestow it now to you, in the name of Kine, in the name of Shore, and in the name of Atmora of old. You are Ismir now, Dragon of the North. Hearken to it. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. You have learned so much already, dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. But there are many words of power in Skyrim carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here, we can feel the thum and resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to search. We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Windkola. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice, or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. The Dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The Dragon Blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As Dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Breath and focus. Never should have come. Wherever the day 
drop on. The vigil of Stendhal will cast them into the light. They say the college has been snooping around Sorthal. Better this one Made than me. In a buried crypt. No good. For it's time that. for you to go. Good day, friend. Keeping well. I don't think you will follow. Welcome. Let me know Come if you on. want anything. I have a plan. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. The Thalmor ambassador, Ellenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? Don't worry about Melbourne. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. Sounds good. Be careful. What? You're still confused about? I'm just the cook, lad. Of course. Nobody trusts those mages way up north in their college. Gods only know what they do up there. We've got something of a love triangle here in Riverwood. Fandel and Sven, both vying for Camilla's affections. Mm-hmm. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off.
Wanderer like you must have plenty of tales to tell. Please take pity on an old madman. It's warriors from Hammerfell. They've got courage. to take days to clean this up. I'm so sorry. The museum has been robbed. And I'm afraid that I'm at least partly to blame. Yes. You see, I haven't been exactly completely forthcoming with you about my past. And sadly, it has caught up with me. Before coming here, I was part of a group of brigands operating in Hammerfell in the western region of Bangladesh. One day we were on a job. We were posing as guards for a caravan destined for High Rock, planning to turn on it when we reached the wastes. Only when we got there, we were ambushed. The entire job was a ploy to catch us and put an end to our banditry once and for all. That's how I lost my eye. Only a few of us escaped and fled into the Algier desert. And to this day, I have no idea how I survived the sands. I was found just outside Haven Stand by a missionary who took me in and nursed me back to hell. I swore to Tawafka right then and there that I would turn my life around and live a just and honest life from that day forward. So I left it all behind, and came here to Skyrim to start again. But it seems that someone from my past has followed me. I tried to fight them off, but they knocked out poor Ari and overpowered me. They tied me up and made off with everything. I suppose they left me alive in hopes of me taking the fall for the robbery. I suppose it would be appropriate given my failure. You mean, after all my failings, you are willing to allow me to help you? I believe I may have some ideas of where they went. There were a few jobs we had which brought us into Skyrim, and we had a couple of small holdouts. I would think that a good place to start would be Windcaller's Pass. It's a collapsed cave that once ran through the Great Mountain. It's remote enough that we would lay low if needed, and stash loot there before gathering up and departing for Hammerfell. Excellent. You won't be disappointed. I'll redeem myself.
take days to clean this up. Uh, thank you for asking. I'll be fine, just a bit shaken. I'm more worried about the state of the museum. It's going to take days to clean this up. We'll track down the art. Don't worry. Sibyl's. Oh, has it? A... 